Hello YouTube, and today I want to talk about computer science versus computer programming, and if there's a difference, and if there is what it is, or are they the same thing, or is one thing part of the other thing, or how to wrap your head around that. All right, so we're gonna use everybody's favorite method to start off with in learning about new terms, and that's vocabulary words. Dictionary.com defines computer science as the science that deals with the theory and methods of processing information in digital computers, the design of computer hardware and software, and the applications of computers. Dictionary.com does not have a definition for computer programming, but BusinessDictionary.com does, and what they say it is, is the process of developing and implementing various sets of instructions to enable a computer to do certain tasks. Those are two pretty high-level definitions of those two words. So. What do they mean? Are they the same thing? And what's the difference? So I think the easiest question to answer is also the hardest question to answer. Are these two terms the same thing? And the answer is really no. They are not, but they are very closely tied. The reason why it's a hard thing to answer is because the terms have become convoluted with one another due to some things with our, the way that the US education system is and how we give out degrees in computer science and what those degrees are actually in and specializations and things like that. But computer science and computer programming are two separate fields. The best way that I can prove this point is that you can be a computer scientist in no zero programming languages. You can understand the theoretical aspects of computers and computer computation and the mathematics that run on the, you know, background of computers and not know Python or Ruby or Java or JavaScript or any language for that matter, and still be able to have an opinion about how computers and modern computing and computer systems can work. It's the same kind of concept as if you had a chemist and a chemical engineer. Computer programming is the chemical engineer side of this. They're the people who are taking the research and applying it to everyday situations, whereas the computer science side of it is more of the chemist. They are doing the scientific work, the theoretical work, to then have someone implement it into the real world. And in computer programming, you use a programming language to tell a computer what to do. You give a computer a set of instructions and then the computer does things with those instructions. And if you're like me and you're a bad programmer, it doesn't do what you want it to do the first 17 times. Also, if you're thinking about going to college for a computer science degree, every college is different in how they implement their curriculum. And some can be very heavily theoretical and some can be very heavily programmatic and talking about how you program. And, or there can be a mix of both. Or they can have both kind of tracks and you kind of pick which alley you want to go down. The important thing to remember here is that these two fields are very, very closely tied. And there's a lot of overlap there. A lot of people who have computer science degrees end up being programmers and a lot of people who have a very strong knowledge in computer programming also learn the theory behind how computers work. It will help you in whatever your career path is to understand the other side of the equation. If you are really interested in theoretical aspects of computers, then understanding programming and a programming language can be very helpful in that to know the real world impact of what these theoretical computations and things like that are. By the same token, if you're a computer programmer, understanding the theoretical aspects and the actual like science behind computing is very useful when it comes to computer programming and writing good algorithms and writing good, clean, and nice code. Those things are very useful to know. So what side of this thing should you learn? That's really going to be dependent upon what your goals are. If you just want a job as a programmer and you wanna build awesome things and you wanna learn a language and you want to be able to write code, then that's something that you can do on your own. You can learn on your own, you can go to a boot camp if there are ones available where you're at or online. And you don't really need to understand the theoretical side to get your foot in the door when it comes to computer programming. Now it'll obviously be helpful in your career and in the code that you write if you understand that theoretical side of things. Being able to process in your mind why something is more efficient than not and not just be told to do it in a certain way is something that will really help you out. And that kind of knowledge and that kind of understanding can be built upon with an understanding of computer science at this like base level. 
but it, like I said, it is absolutely not required to get into the field of computer programming. If you're very interested in how computer systems work and the theoretical side of things, the why behind the how, then understanding computer science is probably what you're going for. And while you can learn some of this stuff online and there are some great and amazing resources out there for it, probably the most efficient way to do that is to go to a university or a college and work towards a degree in that. Now, not everybody's the same and everybody has different learning styles, but being in a classroom and having someone there to guide you through the theoretical side of things typically is an efficient and well-versed method of learning those kinds of things. Universities have been around for a long time to teach the sciences, and that's just kind of how that is thought of to be learned. It by no means is the only way to learn it, but like I said, probably the most efficient. And if you're looking for a resource on computer science, especially if you don't have any kind of experience in it because you never went to school for it or something like that, I would recommend there's a podcast that's pretty new called the Base CS Podcast. It's about 20 to 30 minutes long and the two hosts on there do a really good job of breaking things down in really understandable and digestible bites. And they do episodes about like the basics of computer science. So what is by binary or hashes or bits and bytes and explaining the difference of all of those things. And those are the kind of topics that they talk about in this podcast. And I'll link it down below, obviously. But if you have 20 to 30 minutes on your drive to work or just any of your free time, I would recommend checking it out because it is really awesome. All right, guys, I hope I answered some of your questions about the difference between computer programming and computer science. And if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If I don't know the answer, I will reach out to people who do or do research and find it out for you. If you like this video, if you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to hit that like button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to follow along in my journey through this crazy world of computer programming. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.